11, 11, 11. A lot of people worried. A lot of people wondering what the powers to be, aka the Illuminati, have planned. Or if it would just be another day. In this video, I will demonstrate how occultists, especially one by the name of Aleister Crowley, said the number 11 is ours. I'm going to explain what he meant by that. And I'm going to try to connect the dots for you. First, let me start by saying my name is Gary the Numbers Guy. I have been trying to explain to people for years that uh, big events usually happen on the 11th, aka 9-11, 3-11 Japan, 3-11-2004 Spain. On the 11th, the 29th, 2 plus 9 equals 11. Uh, ex examples throughout history, stock market crashed on 10-29-1929. Hurricane Katrina, which starts with the K, K is the 11th letter alphabet, hit on August 29th, 2005. Um, you know, those are just throughout America. I can go on and on. Well, um, for instance, World War One ended at 11-11 at exactly 11 o'clock. And the reason the occultists like to use the number 11 goes back to what our friend Aleister Crowley said. Aleister Crowley is known as one of the most evil people who ever lived. And he was a staunch uh, supporter of homosexuality. Uh, do what you want. Bring down the religions. And what he said was, 11 is our number. Our number meaning the occultist, the Illuminati, and the reason they like to use the number 11, and let me go back to the number 11 here, is because 11 is connected, well all numbers are connected with vibrational energy, it's just that 11 is on a much higher vibrational plane than the 1 through 9 numbers. And when you look at that number, you'll notice that number just pops out a lot whenever bad things happen. Not because the number is evil itself, but because the people in power like to manipulate the sheep, the sheep law they like to call them, with a vibrational energy because they understand how to use it. Example, uh, when the oil rig exploded last year, 11 people died off top. Uh, that was a ritual sacrifice. 9-11-2001, which was planned at least 100 years in advance. Um, you know, the people who said Bush did it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're as lost as the people who don't understand what happened. But the reason they do things on 9-11, uh, 3-11, uh, 2004 in Madrid, where 191 um, people died, 191 equals 11, is because they like to invoke that um, emotional energy that comes with 11, they like to invoke fear, panic. And going back to what Aleister Crowley, here's that son of a bitch, what he said was 11 is our number. So now you can understand why the powers to be who've been influenced by occultists for hundreds of years, if not thousands, um, do things and plan false flag attacks on 9-11, 3-11, or what happened in Japan on 3-11-2001 when a 9.0 earthquake hit. Some people say it was HARP. Maybe, maybe not. But in this video, I want to talk again about 11-11-11. And when people want to basically research and make predictions for the future, one of the best ways to do it is to look at the past. And being a scientist, a numerologist, metaphysical scientist, history buff, well, not really the scientist part, but no matter what field you're in, you try to establish patterns. And the obvious question would be, when you're looking uh, for to find out what you think might happen in 2011-2011 would be to look at what happened on 11-11-1911. And that brings me to this. Wikipedia. It is called the Great Blue Northern. And basically what happened was on November 11th, 1911, throughout the Midwest, it was a nice day. 76 degrees. As a matter of fact, in Kansas City, and a lot of people are asking, well, what's the big deal, Gary? You know, 76 degrees in November is, you know, maybe a little bit above average, but it's no big deal. Well, see, the problem was, 
in the morning when the people of Kansas City and all around the Midwest of the United States woke up, it was in the 80s and in the 70s. And 14 hours later, it was 11 degrees in Kansas City. All throughout the Midwest that day on 11 11 2011, excuse me, you've had blizzards in the morning, I mean in the afternoon, which were <laughs> basically preceded by tornadoes. How does that happen? How does temperature jump that rapidly within 14 hours? Well, to look at that, you have to go back to what Aleister Crowley said on Numbers 11. Now, the cultists are very, very big in number 11. And if you actually go back to what happened on 9-11 and look at the pictures of the smoke that day, a lot of people will say, this right here, maybe if you can't make it out here, but this right here looks like the devil's face in smoke. Maybe you can't make it out here, but go look at it yourself. Go to Google Images and put in 9-11 devil's face. And basically, what I'm trying to point out here is whenever there's a cold snap, throughout studying paranormal activity, which I have throughout for 10 years, whenever they say there's a ghost around, they say the temperature drops severely. It gets real, real cold around ghosts. So it's very logical on that day that something happened. There was a mass transit and a mass portal. So, before I sound crazy, let's look at the tips that the good people in Hollywood have left us. Remember those good, good people who also warned us about 9-11. Here's a clip from Terminator 2. If you notice, when Arnold Schwarzenegger is driving with the O'Connor kid, it says on the very top there, 9-11 over the bridge. You're going to see it right here. Maybe you can make it out. But it basically said, warning, 9-11. Very clear as day. Caution, 9-11, excuse me. That's a warning that Hollywood sends out that something's coming. Now, having said that, let's look at the, cl the clues the Illuminati have left us with their lackeys in Hollywood about 9-11-11-2011. Hopefully you can make out the video, but if you can't, let me fast forward here a little bit. It is believed by, by some 11-11 is a warning. That's what it says in the movie. Now, watch this. It is believed that on November 11, 2011, a gateway will open. A gateway will open. Now, going back to what happened 100 years ago on 11-11-1911, temperatures dropped very severely. Now, remember what I said before about paranormal activities? It gets real, real, real cold. Whenever they say ghosts around. Remember, this is all speculation, but I'm trying to connect the dots for the visual audience. Now, it got real, real cold on 11-11-1911. The Illuminati is warning us that some kind of portal is going to open, which is essentially, we can conclude, what might have happened on 11-11-1911 and why the temperatures uh, changed so drastically that you had tornadoes followed by blizzards hours apart in the same day. Am I saying this is going to happen for a fact? No. This is obviously all speculation. But I'm trying, like I said again, to connect the dots to show you how Aleister Crowley and his disciples, who basically are head in hand in the New World Order, are running the show and doing everything with that magic number. 11, 11, 11. Now, another thing I'd like to point out that in binary code, 11 would be a 3. And if you look at the date, 11, 11, 11, added out, 11, 11, 11 adds up to 33. Now, how does number 33 basically resemble throughout history of religion? Jesus died when he was supposedly 33 years old. The Islamic prophet Muhammad was born 330, again, 33. King David ruled Jerusalem for 33 years. And the Freemason order goes up to 33. Now, think about that number 33. In the good book, it says, Lucifer took one-third of the angels with him. One-third breaks down to, in a fraction, point three 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 goes on forever. And again, the Freemason order goes up to 33. 
Jesus supposedly died at 33. They're doing this all around numbers. So it's very possible they could use this date at 11, 11, 11 to try to maybe resurrect someone, at least in their minds. What happens on 11, 11, 2011, we'll find out very soon. Whether it's nothing, whether these powers that be are basically hyping 11, 11 up and maybe they'll do something on 11, 14 because that day adds up to an 11. Maybe they'll do something on 11, 29. You know, the same day, uh, uh, in 1947, they basically uh, ended the uh, British man died of Palestine, and there's been a civil war in the Holy Land ever since. <laughs> you know, they're using numerology against the public. That is very obvious. The only question is, are you going to open your eyes and see it? Or are you going to say this is a coincidence? Just like the fact that the World Trade Center took 11 years to build. The first plane to hit the World Trade Center is Flight 11. Side by side, the World Trade Center looks like the number 11. They both had 110 stories. Take out the zero. Again, you have 11. And you had the ritual sacrifice on 9-11, in which they planned at least 100 years in advance. So, again, what's going to happen in 11-11? 11, 11? 11. You might not even hear about it in the news. I do expect some strange weather that day, that's for sure, just by the pattern of history but as I always tell people when it comes to the new world order you always have to think of it this way the strong take from the weak but as always the smart they take it from the strong